thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. It is currently five o'clock. Wait for it. Five o'clock on the dot. This is usually around the time I get home from school. It just depends on the day. Sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later. My night routine is not the exact same every single day, but it's pretty similar. So right now, I'm wearing some comfy sweats. Here is the outfit. I'm very matchy-matchy today. You guys, I am getting so excited for fall. We haven't really decorated that much yet, but we have started breaking out the fall candles. So far, we've been using this apple spice one. I also got this adorable little jack-o'-lantern, and it even lights up. You can't even see right now. I'm I'm trying to do my best to romanticize the fall semester and just college in general because I feel like it'll just help me stay more motivated for school. So I think baking is a very fun and cute activity that will help with that. And what better fall thing to bake than pumpkin muffins? I got so excited when I saw these at the grocery store. I'm gonna preheat the oven. My roommate and I have been having a very fun time finding all of the little names that Trader Joe's uses for all their different products. So this one is Baker Joseph. We have one that's like French. It's like Trader Jacques. And then on some of our pizzas, it says Trader Giotti. We're really getting a kick out of it. These are great because I can have them for breakfast in the morning if I'm running low on time or I can have them for dessert. I'm making these now because I'm not gonna want to later tonight after doing all my schoolwork. So let's get to baking. how this batter smells. It's a little strong for my liking, but hopefully it tastes better than it smells. Okay, while those are in the oven, I'm gonna do some homework. Back to school season has been pretty overwhelming for me so far. It's been kind of stressful managing all of my assignments because there's just so many this semester. I've had a lot of writing assignments, which for me are very time consuming. Something that's been helping me out a lot is using Grammarly. It has just made me feel like a more confident writer. It also just naturally improves my writing skills because I can see the corrections it makes and then remember it and apply those things to my work in the future. Grammarly is such a great tool to help you with your schoolwork because it helps you get assignments done quicker, helps you stay productive, and overall just helps improve your grades. So Grammarly has a free version that includes punctuation, spelling, and grammar suggestions. When you have a lot on your plate and you're trying to get things done quickly, it can be really easy to make mistakes. Grammarly will catch all those little errors and proofread your work for you so that it's ready to submit. But you can also upgrade to Grammarly Premium and its advanced features will just overall help you feel more confident in your writing, which is something that I struggle with. Grammarly Premium can actually help you get your points across in a much more clear way by rewriting your confusing sentences that are just a little hard to read. So Grammarly is free to download and it's super easy to integrate into your daily life. You can use it in Google Docs, emails, Microsoft Word, you name it. If you wanna download it, now is a great time to do it before you get all swamped at schoolwork. Succeed in school by improving your grades with the help of Grammarly. It's free, why not? Go to grammarly.com slash Marie to sign up for a free account. And if you'd like to get extra features, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off to help you write your future. Right, you guys it's dinner time I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I've been doing recently that is so good and it's so easy to make too so if you're a college student looking for an easy dinner or just snack really any meal it kind of fits all meals of the day maybe not breakfast I don't know then this is great for you also I know nothing about cooking and I can make this so you already know it's easy let's get the ingredients So what you're gonna do is take some bread. Sourdough works really well for this. You're gonna slap some pesto on it. You're gonna take some mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it all over the top. And then you're gonna slice some tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes. I'm just using cherry tomatoes. Once your tomatoes are sliced, you're gonna put them all over the bread and we're gonna pop it in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can definitely just heat it up on the stove. I like to do it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes, and then I turn off the preheat and the turn reminders and press start. You guys, look at me doing a little cooking segment. Like, who would have thought? Also, I'm not claiming to have come up with this. Brayden made this for me the other day and taught me how to do it, and I have been hooked on it ever since. While this is cooking, I'm gonna clean up. 
We're gonna throw on some salt and pepper and then just a tiny bit of avocado oil. This looks so good. Let's see how it tastes. That is ridiculous. It's so good. While I eat, I am going to watch Love Island and enjoy my meal. Okay, I'm all done eating. Now is the time where it starts getting a lot darker in the living room. So I like to go around and turn on the lamps and light some candles. So now is the time of the night where I would usually catch up on some work, whether that is for school or for YouTube. I really need to get done some editing. So after I get my work done for the night, I like to start winding down and relaxing. I'm gonna get all cleaned up and take a shower right now. First, I need to take off my makeup. Now that I'm all showered, I'm gonna blow dry my hair. But before I do that, I have to let it air dry for a little bit longer. I don't always blow dry my hair, but it's just nice when I do because usually when I wake up the next day and even the day after, my hair still looks really good and I don't really have to put any effort into styling it. And I do have to get up early for school tomorrow morning. So I might as well just blow dry it and make it easy on myself. But while I wait for it to air dry a little bit more, I am going to start a new book. I get in these weird little funks where I read a book or two, I'm super into it, and then I cannot get myself to start another book or if I do I'll read like two pages and then I can't keep going So I haven't read in a little bit, but I just love reading so I want to start my next book My mom actually surprised me with this book in the mail the other day This book is Carrie Soto's back by Taylor Jenkins Reid She is my favorite author and this is her new book if you didn't know Carrie Soto is a character that was in Malibu Rising briefly and I loved that book So I am very excited to read this. So yeah, I'm gonna start it start getting ready for bed. Around this time, I like to change the color of my lamps and light some candles so that it's nice and cozy and relaxing and peaceful in here. And then I'm gonna go brush my teeth and do my skincare. It's 9.15. Before I lay down, I'm gonna journal for a few minutes. Sometimes it's hard to find the motivation to journal at night when you literally just wanna go on TikTok, watch TV, and go to bed. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna look for a journal prompt on my Pinterest right now. I have a board for journaling. My Pinterest is linked in the description if you guys wanna check it out. So this journal prompt is asking, what have I accomplished today? How have I felt today? I'm thankful for what to improve and 
affirmations. This is a very easy one, nothing that gets too deep. So I'm gonna do this right now. I also like to listen to like a frequency while I do this because it just gets me in the right headspace. my favorite part of the night where I just do nothing. I basically just lay in bed and relax, watch TikTok, watch TV, and that is about it. I basically just do that until I fall asleep. Really quickly though, I did want to say this is my like ideal night routine. Do I bake every single night? No. Do I journal every single night? No. Do I read every single night? No. Am I productive every single night? No. This was a productive night routine. This is like basically the best version of my night routine when I've had a good day i'm feeling productive i have a lot to do so i just need to get stuff done but that does not happen all the time it can also just be productive to sit and kind of do nothing if you need to just sit down and mentally just check out for the night and watch tv you can do that and that's also productive so i just wanted to say that before i lay down for the night mm -hmm. 